All right, so protests erupted once again in Mizoram's Kola Sip district, demanding the ouster of Deputy Commissioner Arun T. And the protesters are accusing the Deputy Commissioner of including over 200 names of brew refugees who are still residing in relief camps in Tripura into the state's electoral rolls. And the NGO Coordination Committee, led by Influential Young Mizo Association, has also extended support to the protesters, stating that DC Arun T should have handled the situation better. The YMA, however, called for peaceful protest and also informed that it has sent a three-member team to Kola Sib to ensure that things are under control. It added that a PIL has been filed with regard to the case and action will be taken accordingly. We supported our people there because Dr. T. Arun should have handled the situation in a much better way. He shouldn't have changed his words every time he meets them. He committed many times that uh, he promised that he promised many things which is not being fulfilled. And just to remind our viewers, protesters had staged a violent demonstration outside the Deputy Commissioner's office in Kola Seb barely a week ago, demanding removal of brew names from the electoral role. And police had to resort to firing of tear gas shells to control the crowd who were pelting stones at the DC's office. And meanwhile, speaking exclusively to Northeast Live, Young Mizo Association President Vanlan Ruata also opened up on the demand for removal of Chief Electoral Officer S.B. Shashank. And Vanlan Ruata said that things went for a toss in Mizoram due to the alleged dictatorial attitude of CEO S.B. Shashank who ignored police public sentiments as he tried to push in his diktats. Mr. Sasang, I don't know what he's doing right now. I mean, that time. Uh, the society has been very silent and cool and calm. All of a sudden, he tried to, you know, uh, conduct electoral process outside Mizoram, making so many uh, excuses which we don't want. Free and fair election means everything should be done within the state of Mizoram. The kind of activities he put up, the source he has made, is only, you know, making the society into a turmoil like. So that is the reason why Sasang was considered to be unfit for the post of the CEO to have a free and fair election in the state of Mizoram. And pointing out that Mizoram elections have always been peaceful and that only 25 companies of CAPF were deployed along with the state police in 2014 elections. Wanlal Ruata said that 40 companies of CAPF will cost the exchequer heavily and is an unwanted expenditure that can be done away with. And on Mizoram police backing SB Shashank's demand for the 40 companies, Wanlal Ruata said that this is just a cover-up exercise as in reality, so much deployment is not required. Yes, we understand there's more demand like polling booth may be slightly increase in the strength of voters so ultimately the polling booth has to be increased the strong room has to be increased okay we understand that but on what ground the calculation goes what was the ground and we have our own this uh, armed police forces in the state of Mizoram even this Indian Reserve uh, uh, IR we have four battalions or no five battalions we have in the state of Mizoram and the expenditure is borne purely by solely by the state government a small state like Mizoram, now 11 crores. When we can't have, uh, when we can't pay to our school teachers, when there's a problem in payment to the school teachers, why spend so much money on that kind of thing, which is considered to be, you know, something extra like.